It is August 31st. Welcome to the final day of Vlogist. <sighs> Last night, my blood sugar reading was 257, and I know exactly why. Just a little bit, little snacks at, uh, with sugar or carbs or both. Just one won't hurt, and just one probably won't hurt, depending. Um, but, uh, well, be a little much to say it's never just one, but it's rarely just one. Certainly yesterday it wasn't just one. It was, um, uh, I need to be more careful. I need to eat more vegetables. That's kind of the mantra. I mean, at the very least, I think I've done a decent job keeping my blood sugar lower than I had been the past several months. So at least high numbers are the exception rather than the rule. As for this morning, I actually haven't tried it yet, so um, I guess I'll do this live. Well, I'll do some cutting because you don't want to... Plus, I don't think I even have a... I, I might have the phone spit. Yeah. Do not turn into Lino Rama like Ghostbusters answer the call. Well, almost didn't hit record there. Um, <sighs> <sighs> Time to chug a lot of V8 and eat a lot of broccoli. So, I uh, guess this is pretty much the end of Vlogist. Um, as far as my goals, well, lowering my blood sugar is a, it's a lifelong goal, really. Um, as I said, I think I've definitely improved uh, things over the, more than the past several months. I still have to continue to be careful and uh, stop uh, just having one little thing that surely couldn't hurt, and then another, and then another, and then another, and then another. As far as my daily goals, well, I accomplished all of them except for uh, up editing and uploading uh, some videos that I def that I promised to. I'll get around to them eventually. I, I have done a few other uh, non-vloggist videos, uh, so it's, uh, that's still not good. It still doesn't count. As far as my goal about being cast in shooting heroin, well, uh, it's up to Spencer. I did do an audition video. Hopefully the um, presentation didn't overshadow the performance. Um, incidentally, Spencer, if you, if you catch me, let me know whether you want me to have a beard or not. I would not mind shaving it. It's kind of uncomfortable. Um, and whenever I grow a beard, I realize what a sloppy eater I am. Oh, if, you, if you want me to have it, then that's fine. If you'd like to see how much fuller I can grow it, check out my April videos when I was doing Vita. Um, but, uh, so, uh, well, that's about it um, at this time of day. Uh, later on... I... Yeah, anyway, I got this in the mail, finally. And some of you already know what this is. Oh no, how am I going to open this? Ow. I need to oil this. Uh, what a great reveal, huh? I see it before you guys do. And of course, it is a piece of paper, so toss... I've heard too many stories about these breaking to do the toss it away gag. This is the... Please, can I find that? Spirit Halloween Ghostbusters Ghost Trap. Here, um, have we seen every side yet? Okay. Ooh. So we got some sticker sheet here, and yes, they are perforated. And of course, we got the we got the ghost trap. Um, on camera, always on camera. Maybe. Mm. Ah. Cardboard. I'm trying to make this look interesting. Oh, now you slide out. Great. Mm. Is it glued back here? No, oh, this really tight. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Of course, uh, so we can have a look at it here. Of course, I haven't put the stickers on yet. You may have guessed that on account of there was hopefully no cutting. Here, the knobs are of course just molded on. Um, this is the battery compartment. It has an act. I do wonder a little bit. Couldn't they maybe have just made the actual screws, or maybe two of the actual screws, actual screws? <sighs> Whatever. 
I just always wonder about that. Here we got an on off switch, which I don't know if you can see. Gee, I could do a close up, but I'm too tired right now. Maybe if this had arrived before 5 p.m., guys. It's weird, as the rest of my mail arrived first, so I don't know, maybe, maybe that'd make two trips to deliver everybody's ghost traps. And well, before I test out too much, of course, here is the Kenner Real Ghostbusters ghost trap, which, um, well, I'm still working on modding here. Uh, the batteries. The uh, batteries are dead in this thing. I need to replace them, but. Still, I've got a solenoid in here. If anybody can either recommend a um, high amp battery that's small enough to fit inside the foot pedal or just some way of upping the amperage on a 9-volt battery, that would be greatly appreciated. But, okay, enough of this. Let's um, let's play with it here. Um, okay, switch it on here. It's in there. And, uh, well, we already know this. It has two different sounds. That's the one. Here's the other. Let me try the other one again, see if it ends at a certain point. Okay, so yeah, I got a little belt clip here. Not sure how good that is. Um, worry about that later. In the meantime, one other test, which I haven't seen other people do. Now, I've seen a couple of different uh, reviews of this, but nobody's shown what it looks like in the dark. And I was surprised to find out that apparently the interior lights are actually pretty bright. Um, well... Let's, uh, let's test this out, huh? brighter than a lot of the videos made it look, but not that bright. So I think that's something I will um, do in the future. Though I think maybe the first thing I'll do is paint this um, white stuff silver, make it more accurate there. So um, you can see it rolls here, and of course here's the, the on-off switch. And of course no cable or foot pedal, but... Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one planning on doing that mod. I might wait until see how other people do it and then copy them. Uh, you know what? It mentions it has authentic warning labels, but it... I guess it shows you where to put two of them, but not any... Not the third. Uh, uh. Yeah, let's see. One, two... Um... Um, hmm. Um, three? So I, I, I'll figure it out. It is August 31st. Welcome to the final day of August. <laughs> 